Also, for any of my subscribers who thought the progressive rating system was, like, gone because I hadn't done it in the last two reviews, it's just that I've had a lot of problems with my computer, and it just, it, I haven't been able to do it the last times, but it's definitely, I'm not getting rid of it, it's going to be here for this review and reviews onward. It's a weird feeling already reviewing the movie Paranormal Activity 3. It feels like yesterday that I was making my Paranormal Activity 2 review, so to be here doing it again, it's just, I think the first one is a decent movie, it, it mainly benefited from its really good ma marketing campaign, and that's what really added to the illusion of it being scary. The first time I saw it, I really was into it just because it was the whole experience. But it does not hold up at all on rewatches, it just goes down so significantly. But it's still a, a pretty good movie. The second one is just terrible. At least in the first one, there was suspense when nothing was happening. Nothing. Nothing at all in the second. I just, obviously, they're no longer going to keep up the illusion this is, like, actual found footage at this point. Because, I mean, really, they're going with these prequels now. I, I, the last two have been prequels. And I would rather just see a, a new person getting haunted. I'm yeah, The story's cool and all. But it also would be good to develop a new story. And what are they going to do next? Like, her getting terrorized in the womb? But this one's actually pretty good. It's it's still not a great horror movie. It's still not extremely scary, but things actually happen. Well, it's the same in the sense that there's just a bunch of pop scares written throughout the movie. And that's really what it is. It's just like sound jumps, like they'll play a really loud noise, but you just kind of see something move. Things actually get a lot more intense in this movie, and there actually is like a creepiness factor. In the last one, there was no sense of suspense, really. Things just happened, there was no build-up, and that's one of the things the first one got right, is that there was a lot of build-up, and then there was payoffs. The payoffs in this movie aren't as good, but there, but there is a tension throughout the movie. I didn't say a tension, because there is a, a tension. There's a tension. So I'm giving attention due to a tension. Uh, whatever. There's actually a surprising amount of character development in the movie. Even though in all of them it's developing the story of Katie, it's just the characters are so damn boring. They're uh, they are either ridiculously obnoxious or I don't care about them at all. And this time they actually seem to get that right. But that might be due to the fact that they're kids now and kids just make anything infinitely more creepy, especially in horror movies. It just just have that effect. Especially because they're so young and they're girls, they're so innocent. Katie, in the first movie, I was just like, die, you are such a bitch, I don't even care, just go away. But despite those things, it's still a poor plot that's not very interesting and it's not very different, doesn't change anything up from the last movies to really draw that much intrigue or revive the series in any way. It, so yes, it's a slight redemption for the Paranormal Activity series, but still not as scary as it's made out to be, and there's still a lot of unintentional humor. I think I originally gave like the second one a 6.5 out of 10. My rating definitely went down for that one. I, I guess it's like a trend for the series once I rewatch them. I will give Paranormal Activity 3 a 7 out of 10 for being an enjoyable experience, but still not delivering to the best it could. Is it over? They get they get the uh, the guy who's cl closing the doors. Ugh.